Hey everyone, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel, Never Out of Books. And it's goals review time. And time for new goals. I apologize for lateness, but here it is. There's numbers, there's everything is going to go on, and it's all going to be one video, because that's how I'm doing it. So, in 2019, I read 139 books, which is a lot of books. I actually DNF'd a lot of books, too, because it's 146 books with DNFs. So I read 38,445 pages. That is not including audiobooks in 2019. I did not put audiobook page numbers in. I'm going to fix that for 2020. I will be including them. Book-wise, I mean, I separate my book genres out uh, a little bit bit interestingly just because I do read a lot of romance so I separate out the different types of romance as opposed to other types like science fiction I don't separate out dystopians and and all the other genres so um, I definitely read romance is my biggest category it is what it is um, but contemporary romance actually won out in 2019 with 23 books and then followed by sci-fi which I read 20 so that's pretty impressive. Um, but page-wise, I read more pages of science fiction than contemporary romance, likely because science fiction tends to be longer. Hardcover one with 33 books. Uh, I tend to get a lot of hardcovers in book boxes and things like that that I was reading, and also the library tends to have hardcover books, so that's probably why that won out. Um, I read mostly adult books this year, which is a change over previous years where I've read a lot of YA, but I read 80 adult books and 49 young adult books, so with the rest being middle grade and going down. My purchase stuff, I don't think I kept up with it perfectly, so these might not be perfect, um, but I purchased 52 books, which is less than the 139 that I read. Yay! That's good. Um, I acquired four used books and 33 books from the library. Now, the interesting part of this whole little thing is that I read 23 audiobooks last year. That is huge, and I, I hope that it continues because I have really enjoyed my audiobook listening, and I would love to keep this up. I read 23 new releases or books that were released in 2019. That doesn't mean I read them when I was supposed to. And I read an average the 300 to 399 pages uh, lengthwise, which is appropriate because that's like a, ma a mass market paperback. That's kind of has trended that way forever since I've been tracking my reading. So longest book I read was 662 pages. It was worth War Storm by Victoria Aveyard, the fourth and final book in the Red Queen series. That was a bit of a bummer. I really should read some longer books, which you will see is one of my goals for 2020. The most books I read in a month was 17, and I did that in March, July, and May. Why it's such weirdly written, I don't know. Um, and my lowest books a month was five in October. And I read most decades as well, which I'm kind of proud of. I haven't really ever specified that as a goal, but I mean, I read something, you know, from the 20s, the 30s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, and then I read a lot once 2000 hit. Um, but that was pretty cool too. As far as my goals, I finished the challenge that I meant to finish. So that I finished that I think in the summertime and jumped around for joy for that purpose. 2019 goals. One of them was to fit books on shelves one deep, be ruthless. I almost did this um, until I bought book boxes and then things got a little out of hand, but not horrifically. So I'm kind of pleased and counting this as pretty pretty well accomplished and I'm patting myself on the back because that was a impressive goal to even think about achieving. Read a classic, I read Of Mice and Men and I read Zingu, happy happy, and a couple of other ones as well. So 
I totally did this. Uh, be picky about adding the books to my TBR. Um, I was actually, if you look on Goodreads, I put the year that I added the book and this year was significantly fewer books added to my TBR compared to um, 2018 and 2017. So I'm pleased with that. I completed my challenges. I finished the three series that I wanted to finish. I binge read the three series that I wanted to binge read. And I tried one of the two that I had on there. I did not try an expert in murder yet. It is what it is. <laughs> not everything always goes as planned. But I think that was pretty good. Um, and I didn't want to buy any book boxes. I failed. I <laughs> All year I went through and then Black Friday hit and I ordered boxes. So now I'm into a new bullet journal and I have my goals for 2020 over here. Um, I kind of kept it in a similar vein because it seems to be working and why do something that's not working. So first goal is to fit books on my shelves by the end of the year. As long as I don't over purchase and I read from my shelves, this should be accomplishable. I do have several ideas written down of things that I would like to do and, and all of that, but that's for another moment. Um, I again would like to read a classic. I have uh, Ethan Frome on my list of books to read, um, and I'm still halfway done, or not halfway done, but I still have Dombey and Son to be read as well. So, But we'll see because sometimes I organically just read some of these books, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I would like to read five books that are greater than 500 pages long because I feel like last year I did not read a lot of larger books and some of the books that I have are very large on my shelf and in order to fit books on my shelf sometimes you just have to read a big fat book. My fourth goal would to be read would be to read um, two of the lowest rated books off my shelves and two of my highest rated books off of my shelves. I did some videos with regard to this um, at the end of last year uh, and I will be picking from that list and would like to read just because I'm interested, so why not? I am participating in Curious Adventure, which is a nonfiction reading challenge hosted by Natalie at Curious Reader. I have a whole video of the nonfiction books that I would like to read for that challenge, so of course I have that down here. I have some series, again, I kind of liked that from last year, which with some series to focus on because it can get overwhelming otherwise, to be perfectly honest. Um, so I would like to finish the Lady Montfort Mysteries, which are historical cozies. Um, I have three on my shelf to finish out that series. Um, I also would like to read the Maternal Instincts series, I can't remember how many books are in this series, but this is a cozy mystery series as well. And I've read one book like in the middle of the series and loved it. So would love to, to finish this. Binge read Throne of Glass series, which if you've watched, I have actually already done. So that's cool. Um, I also have a couple of other series, but they're penciled <laughs> for a reason because well, you know, the Aragon, series. I think it's actually called a different series name, but they're huge and a lot going on. And so we'll see. We'll see. That's a, like quite, quite the thing. And I have to be ready for it. Um, I also have the Heart of Iron series. I've got the two duology and Shadow Run, which is a science fiction duology that I was thinking of been treating. We'll see how this goes. I have four first books in the series that I would like to try out. Amber and Dusk, which I'm already reading, um, Ace of Shades, Dance of Thieves, and um, Shadow of the Fox are the four. And then I would like to catch up with so that I'm up to date with the Lexi Graves, Graves series. <sighs> They're like humorous mysteries. I, oh, oh no, this is a cozy one. These are cozy mysteries. Um, the High Heels series which I didn't know was being continued but then I saw there's like three books left more now and I'm like oh my goodness this is crazy so this is also a cozy 
And then the Scottish Bookshop Mystery Series, which is also a cozy mystery series. There are three on my TBR that I own. I also would like to, and this is the one I'm a little bit worried about, but read um, some of my Book of the Month books. I mean, if I could like get really close to catching up with it, I would be really, 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 really happy. I have an entire shelf up there that I would like to be actually empty <laughs> and that would like really help if I would read my Book of the Month picks. Like an honorable mention sort of, sort of thing here. I have some series that I'd like to catch up on to the best of my ability, but that I don't anticipate buying the books. There are things I would need to get from the library. Um, and so these are those ones. I'll just tell them out because once it's on the internet, it never leaves, right? And so it'll hold me accountable. So Tales from Ivy Hill, read the first book, really loved it. Oh my goodness. Um, and I know the library has those books. So, um, you know, I have that on my radar. I have the Her Royal Spinus books. I own some of the series. I've only read the first book. Um, and like, I have a couple of other random ones on my shelf that I've I've gotten from like little free libraries and and other places that were cheap um, so but I want to read them in order because it like her life goes in order right um, the spinster heiresses series I think this is a historical romance series um, the Rokesby series is definitely a historical romance series um, the Stephanie Plum books I am officially kind of one behind so you know, that's like on my radar. I'm not hugely crazy because I always rant about them now. I like almost hate read them and laugh really hard at the same time because they are like that. Uh, the Regency Royals series, historical romance. Um, Dressmaker series, which is also historical romance. And the, Eilidge, I, and the Irish Village Mysteries, which I, like I desperately want to read these books, but I don't want to add to my shelves so I know the library has them and I would like to use my library for those that's that it's enough right so here's this I made no uh, promises with regard to reading challenges or any of of that stuff um, I would like just I'm not gonna write it down in my book, but I would like to participate a little bit better in some of these uh, readathons that was a little lacking last year. But you know, sometimes they're just not at the right time. So if they're not at the right time, I'm not gonna hate myself for that. And as usual, I wanna read what I wanna read and I wanna enjoy what I read and not just read for numbers. So that's always my goal. I set my Goodreads goal, I believe at 60 books. I always do that just because I like the way it tracks books. Um, and that's kind of that. So if you have thoughts on this, um, please let me know. I do use Brock's spreadsheet to track my books because there's like so much information that you don't even really need to have, but I love it. I will talk to y'all later and probably we'll do videos like a mid-year check-in and then an end of the year check-in. So I will see you with those videos and all the others that I happen to make. Bye.